everyone. This is ASEAN News for today. United States Navy commander in Asia wants to work with Japan and Australia against China. At the end of November this year, a senior United States Navy commander in Asia welcomed an agreement by Japan and Australia to tighten military cooperation that will bolster the United States in a region where China's influence is growing. So as we work uh, to work through the larger challenges, that kind of agreement um, is really helpful and encouraging to everybody in the, in the region. So uh, we're very supportive of that agreement and we look forward to exercising a long ride with them. Mercer spoke with Lieutenant General H. Stacy Clardy, the commanding general of three marine expeditionary force in Okinawa, says greater cooperation in the region is not aimed at China. There's no attempt to contain China or anyone else. Uh, we're trying to keep, uh, create an environment of inclusion. Uh, and, and that includes India, that includes Japan, that includes China. Uh, we just know that uh, the path to the sustaining a free and open uh, Indo-Pacific is participation by as many nations as possible under the umbrella of international norms. In regards to our obligations here in the Western Pacific, specifically to Japan, uh, those remain unchanged. We are trying to ensure that our force is the most ready and most capable to ensure that we can Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga and his Australian counterpart Scott Morrison agreed in principle on a reciprocal access agreement that will more closely align the United States allies through a legal framework that will allow each other troops to visit for training and to conduct joint military operations. South Korean pub owners worries about stricter social distancing rules imposed by the government. South Korea's Vice Health Minister Kang Do Tae says the tougher social distancing rules start from today in Greater Seoul area. The new aspect of the third wave, which haven't experienced, implies a more harsh and hard winter. Student Kim Gaeon says currently the situation is very bad because of the coronavirus disease, and she hopes things get better. <laughs> People went to bars and clubs, even though the situation kept getting worse. Now, the social distancing rules have been raised up to level 2, so I hope that they are maintained and make things better. I'd like to take off my face mask and go back to my daily life as I used to. Pop owner in South Korea pleads for help as stricter social distancing rules takes effect on limiting on-site dining at cafes and restaurants and banning nightclubs and dancing bars. Jung Gong Dang, who runs a pub in central Seoul, said that she feel hopeless and the new rule makes her consider shutting down business as she now only allowed to open the pub until 9 p.m. and previous carbs already incurred large income loses early this year. I feel completely helpless for now. I'd better close the pub from tomorrow. It will make me feel more comfortable. I don't know what to do. I feel like crying. The curbs imposed for the capital Seoul and nearby areas are aimed at dampening the resurgence of the coronavirus outbreaks from offices, schools and small gatherings which have come together to trigger a third wave of infections. Chinese Academy of Engineering say digital technologies help fight COVID-19 in a global economy recovery. For epidemic prevention and control in terms of tracking, screening, material support and big data applications, we must further use information technology to improve early warning and response mechanism and improve prevention, control and treatment capabilities. The international community needs to join hands to abandon differences and carry out higher, closer and more comprehensive cooperation in the fields of vaccine research and development, 5G medical care and data sharing. Affected by the epidemic, China's domestic GDP fell by 1.6% in the first half of this year, but the digital economy still grew by 14.5%. Digital economy is becoming a new engine driving the acceleration of the optimization and integration of innovation chains, industrial chains, and value chains. 5G, AI, data, 5G, artificial intelligence, big data, and the internet are things will serve as infrastructure and bring many opportunities to society. When the economy recovers, these digital economies will be the fastest to pick up. In such a large-scale network activity, building an excellent network security system is also an important aspect for everyone's attention at the forum. 
The frequency and the intensity of the cyber attacks are increasing during the epidemic. We can only continuously strengthen cybersecurity and use a powerful cybersecurity technology and service system as the base of our digital technology, so that digital technology can better help the world fight the epidemic. Guest at the forum says that the COVID-19 brings many changes to society, and fighting the epidemic on the one hand and focusing on the development on the other has become a major issue facing many countries. Thailand urges APEC ASEAN cooperation to combat COVID-19. Thailand Prime Minister Prayu Chang Ocha praises APEC and ASEAN countries for containing coronavirus while boosting the economy. Prayut, in his remark addressing on virtual meeting summit of 21 APEC leaders, applauds the establishment of the ASEAN Regional Reserve of Medical Supplies and the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergencies and Emerging Diseases. We have to contain the spread of COVID-19 and address the short-term impacts to help our economies move forward. To this end, I applaud APEC and ASEAN for their cooperation and timely initiatives in combating COVID-19. This includes the establishment of the ASEAN Regional Reserve of Medical Supplies, the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergencies and Emerging Diseases. The APEC summit hosted by Malaysia is being held online for the first time as the pandemic halted international travel. APEC leaders are expected to finalize their post in 2020 vision to replace the 1994 Bogor goals, a set of free trade and investment targets that expire this year. Thailand students protesters continue to protest against government on reforms of the monarchy. Dinosaurs told the stage at the Thai school students protest rally, calling for education reforms and demands that the dinosaurs government to be removed and powers of the monarchy be curbed. Thousands take part in a rally which the bad student group organizers tag hashtag bye bye dinosaurs. The peaceful protest was the first major gathering since Prime Minister Prayut Chang Ocha says that police will use all laws against protesters who have become the biggest challenge to the establishment in years. Police says the protest by the bad student group could go ahead, although two of its teenager leaders were summoned for charges over a previous protest. Protests since July have three core demands, the removal of former junta leader Prayut as a prime minister, a new constitution and reforms to the monarchy of the king, Mahavajira Longkong. Another major protest is planned at the Crown Property Bureau. Protesters say they seek to reclaim the palace fortune, which the king is taking under his personal control. Chinese Prime Minister urges further cooperation to develop COVID-19. Chinese Premier Li Qixiang calls for solidarity, focus on development and expanded cooperation to join hands in countering the challenges amid the ravaging COVID-19. Li addresses the virtually held 15th East Asia Summit chaired by Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Xuan Phuc, noting that pursuing peace and development and promoting cooperation represent the overriding trend of the times amid challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Li said all parties should stay united, focus on development, expand cooperation and join hands in prevailing over difficulties. Li calls for solidarity in fighting the pandemic and improving the public health capacity, urging greater contribution of the summit in promoting vaccine accessibility and affordability. China supports the Association of Southeast Asian Nations putting in place contingency medical supplies reserves. The Premier called on all parties to engage in pragmatic cooperation to enhance the capacity of sustainable development pledging China's further efforts in climate change, anti-terrorism, cybersecurity, and other areas of cooperation. President and First Lady of Pakistan arrive at the Islamabad Zoo to say goodbye to Elephant Kaavan, who will transfer to Cambodia. Pakistan's President Arif Albi bid farewell to Islamabad Zoo's lonely elephant Kaavan days before the animal is due to set off for a new life in Cambodia. After years of campaigning by animal rights advocates and pop star Cher to rescue him from grim conditions with no companion, Kavan is finally said to be airlifted to an elephant sanctuary. Alvi along with his wife Samina fed Kavan bananas as they discusses his transportation plans with members of animal rescue organization. I'm proud of the fact that we are providing this kind of condition. Yeah. I just want, because I will not be here on the 29th, but I wanted to visit the elephant whom we are retiring, you know, and I'm sure in Cambodia he'll find happiness. Inshallah. Because uh, it took a long time for people to realize that he was under mental stress. The elephant will airlift to Cambodia 
After training for weeks with international specialist arm, with treats such as bananas to get him used to the small enclosure and loud noises expected on the 10-hour flight. The engineer supervising its construction says his crate paints in a traditional Pakistani truck art style adorned with brightly colored patterns, animals and the country's national flag to celebrate the joyous moment. The size of the vessel is 6.5 meters in length, uh, 2.7 meters in width and 3.6 meters in height. Um, it weighs about 6 tons, it's constructed with mild steel uh, with 5 inch pipes all around. Uh, the reason for pipes is we wanted to avoid any uh, sharp edges and any obstructions. So um, the floor plate is metal and we've used marine grade ply for softness. Um, furthermore, the, the, the container is built with about 300 liters of um, urine holding capacity which is also an airline requirement. There are belly straps. Uh, that will be used to brace carbon during transportation. The singer chair is due to arrive in Islamabad later in the week to finally meet the elephant she had worked for years to rescue and set him off. The investigation team says the police were unable to investigate the Japanese woman who kills in Brazil. An investigation officer says Brazilian police may not be able to repatriate the body of a Japanese woman who is found murdered in Brazil. It was a friend of the Japanese woman who was found dead, who came to the police and reported her disappearance because he had gone to her apartment and had not found her. And that is when we started the search and we found her body, she was going to a waterfall. Hitomi Akamatsu was found on Monday, November 16, by a waterfall on a property owned by disgraced spiritual guru João Teixeira de Faria, known as the João de Deus or John of God. The self-proclaimed healer, who became a celebrity after appearing on a show hosted by Oprah Winfrey, has been found guilty of raping women who came to his retreat. According to the investigation officer Isabella Silva, police have arrested Rafael Lima da Costa, who confessed to killing Akamatsu on November 10 to steal from her. Police tracks him using security camera footage and found where he had burned clothes. And she adds, it may be difficult to send her back to Japan. Due to her body being in advanced stage of putrefaction, we don't know if we will be able to embalm her. Police says Akamatsu arrived at the ranch roughly two years ago to seek treatment after claiming to have survived radioactive exposure from Japan's Fukushima blast. She stays after John of God's arrest and was well known by the residents in the town of Abadiania, some of 120 kilometers southwest of Brazil's capital Brasilia. Japan's embassy in Brazil says the received statement informs of her death by local police on November 16. It said it was liaising with officials and those who needed to be alerted to her death without giving more information. Japan's lower house lawmakers voting for a resolution to declare climate emergency after a government sets zero emissions. Japanese lawmakers declares a climate emergency in a symbolic vote aimed at increasing pressure for action to combat global warming after the government last month committed to firm timetable for net zero emissions. The emergency non-binding declaration drafted by a cross-party group of legislators cites unprecedented damage from hurricanes, flooding and forest fires exacerbated by climate change at home and abroad and the world faces a climate crisis. With erratic weather patterns from this year's record hurricane season in the Atlantic to floods in Europe being linked to climate change, the government around the world face more calls to act even the coronavirus pandemic rages, saving resources. Ruling Liberal Democratic Party lawmaker Yoshihisa Furukawa, head of the Secretariat of Non-Partisan Group of MPs behind the declaration says the resolution was vital to show the world Japan was not lagging in the fight against global warming. I think this can send the message to the world that Japan's parliament and the government are firmly resolved to tackle this aiming at a carbon-free society. Japan's new target for carbon neutrality could open the way for its beleaguered nuclear industry to fire up again, nearly a decade after the Fukushima disaster shut down most reactors, although the public remains worried. Nuclear provides about 30% of Japan's electricity before Fukushima when the country had 54 operable reactors compared with just two operating now. 
The pianist plays to hundreds of Thailand monkeys in historic site. The musician hoped to raise awareness of the monkeys' hunger while also study their behavioral responses to classical music. Barton was a rock star to hundreds of hungry wild monkeys that he hoped his music would count at a time when Thailand's coronavirus-induced tourism hiatus meant there were fewer visitors to feed them and less funds allocated for their welfare. Wonderful, a wonderful opportunity to see wild animals just being themselves. I think that I was surprised to play the piano and find they were actually eating the music uh, as I was playing it, uh, eating this and pulling the stool to pieces. But you know, this is an incredible opportunity, and I wasn't going to to let those things uh, distract from the project, which is to play music for these wonderful macaques. While on tour in central Thailand, British musician Paul Barton are mobbed by unruly audiences who tucked his hair, stole his music and climbed all over his piano. I like to play piano for animals that have had stressful lives and it's possible that music can play a part in the rehabilitation process, especially elephants that have had uh, working elephants and I was wondering whether some of the monkeys that lived Barton plays at four venues in Lopuri, a province famous for its marauding monkeys, including an ancient Hindu temple, a hardware store and a derelict theater. That's all for today. See you soon.